Hey, what's up? This is Ross Lair. You're tuned into Fat Planet TV. So how long have you been working with uh, Fat Planet Studios here in Orlando? Man, I've been working with Fat Planet for quite a few years now. I was going to Full Sail University back in uh, 2008, and one of my professors said, man, you got to go to the best studio in town to record some guitar for your album. So I came here probably late 2008. Here we are, 2012. It's going to be the last studio I go down with when the rest of the world goes down. What is your relationship with uh, the engineers, um, most specifically uh, Aaron and Ed? Um, I am very close with Aaron Gandia, the chief engineer at the studio, and I'm close with Ed as well. And Aaron's just been my go-to guy for just about anything. Anything from uh, engineering ideas, recording, composition, uh, mastering primarily. Um, he's the only engineer I trust with really mastering my material and I've gone to him for at least a dozen projects uh, over the years and many more to come. I love that plan. Just the vibe and the, I mean the acoustics, It's the sonic quality is just superior. Nothing compares to it that I've ever dealt with before. I mean the knowledge and just the attitude and like the joy that people have walking in this room and being involved either in A or B. It's, uh, it's just infectious. It's awesome. And Aaron himself, you've worked with him for <clears throat> three, three years now, you say? Yeah, four years? I mean, and just observing Aaron, and then also just being in the same room, be, whether I'm a fly on the wall or working with him one-on-one, -on -one, uh, even just his, you know, how he orchestrates himself and, and with the quick keys and pro tools, he is just flying like a cheetah, yeah. running through like Africa. So I've also learned a lot, and I think that, you know, you need to be a sponge in this industry and of course I just want to continue growing my craft. So learning from people like Aaron, um, even the interns, they just have a wealth of knowledge that they want to share. Um, and also I just have awesome geek out sessions like over beer and wings afterwards. So we just talk about plugins and you know acoustics and you know how sub frequency content is you know di has different directions and all that good stuff. So it's just really neat. It's awesome. Approximately how much of your music would you say you uh, get mastered or get mixed at uh, Fat Planet Studios? I'd say about se about 70% of my material, um, wow. whether it's my own personal work or if it's a work I've been hired to do. Um, mm -hmm. You know, when I when I take on a new project, I'll look, look, you know, we'll produce it, I'll mix it. Mastering is not my forte, so I would definitely encourage you to go to Aaron at Fat Planet, and he's based out of Orlando. And you know, me living in Atlanta or Los Angeles, it's not a big deal. Dropbox, you know, the internet makes it very easy to collaborate with that. Aaron's prompt gets me, you know, AIF Wave Masters the night of the session. So and you work with a wide array of genres. Mm -hmm. So it's not just he's not just mastering electronic and music. Yeah, that's the that's the really cool thing is that, you know, I've developed this relationship with Aaron and the studio here. And so they know how I mix and, and go about my productions and so forth. But the cool thing about it is that I can trust them with a dance recording for Armada Music, or I can trust them with you know a ballad uh, with a singer-songwriter. And so it's the the music and the productions are all over the map, all across the spectrum, and they have no hesitation to tackle anything. And then of course they have a lot of background in jazz and. Um, other traditional forms of music, everything gospel, rock, I mean, they're everywhere. They can do anything, and then they can do a bang and top 40 dance track. So, it's just, it's a one-stop shop. Right. Just geek out about the gear real quick? Sure. All right, cool. I love coming to Fat Planet, too, because their monitoring system. These speakers sitting behind me are freaking gold. These gorgeous red speakers are just fantastic, and you can hear so much detail and it makes me question my mixing because there's a lot of things I didn't hear when I was in the mix process. Mm. But it's just listening back to your final production on these speakers. You know, I know there are a lot of great monitors out there, but these are extremely unique. Don't fit in, be exceptional. They're one of a kind. No one else has them. They're great. They also have a lot of dope analog gear here too. Yeah. And so like for me, I mix in the box. So it's all just a, it's a digital mix. Mm -hmm. So when you bring it here, there's a warmth and color that all of the outboard gear can add. I mean, today we're using the Neo Porticos, uh, the Culture Vulture uh, preamps, and the SSL compressors, and just everything sounds great. For tracking, we've used the Distressors and the Tube Tech. We use the Tube Tech for vocals. We did gang vocals here a month or two ago, and uh, I believe he was running through the Tube Tech in Studio B. 
and oh, oh my gosh, the Great River EQs. I was recording a Nick Sharp uh, solo project here a, a year ago, and Aaron just pushed these buttons on the um, on the Great River EQ, and my goodness gracious, that vocal came alive. It was awesome, and Nick. Out of all the studios he's been to over his the span of his 10-year career, he's like, my vocals have never sounded so awesome and so hot. And he was here. Alright, three words to describe Fat Planet Studios. Exceptional, unique, and fun. <laughs>